so this coexistence of of, um, of symbolic or like immaterial and material so back to like movement and matter so thinking about movement as a kind of a force so it's not just it's not just that the there is matter and then there is movement, but there is also movement in the matter, right? So that the, what produces the movement is not just, you know, the thinking person uh, that you easily can fool yourself to be, you know? It's an illusion that's very uh, available to us. Uh, that's sort of behind, you know, the motor system. Rather than looking at someone outside of me or an image of what a dancer should be like, I began to turn my attention inward and I began to look at well, what's going on inside my body, how do I move, um, what, are the, what are the desires or the motivators that, um, that uh, inspire me to move and to make 